Evergreen Brewing Company, Fuzzy Mackerel, is a double IPA, 8% alcohol. Let's give it a shot. So this one I got from a good buddy of mine. He recommended it. He knows I don't like the IPAs. He is an IPA drinker. He gave me this. He said it's smooth. It's got a, a, a slightly sweet taste, creamy. And when I opened it up and I tried it, it... It made me confused as to why this company didn't just go the extra step and make this a milkshake IPA. The thickness, the creaminess, the texture, even when you look at it, it's so cloudy and it's so thick looking, which is also funny because it's not a heavy beer. I just don't know why they didn't just take that little extra step and make this a milkshake IPA. As for the IPA itself, it is an IPA. I can taste it because I'm very sensitive to the IPA flavor. Um, I can detect the flavor only because I'm not a huge IPA drinker. So when I do taste any hoppy or IPA in a beer, it it stands out to me. And I feel like that's all I taste the rest of the time. So I expected it though this time and drinking this beer, I tasted it, but what was polite about this beer was it wasn't an overly aggressive hoppy ale flavor. And what I appreciated about this beer is that as as much as the texture and the creamy and the smoothness of this beer, you are kind of riding this weird, and again, I don't know why they, they, they didn't just go the extra step and make it a milkshake IPA, but you're riding this kind of like milky, milky trail with the IPA, just kind of like you're, like you're going through an IPA forest on some sort of weird milky trail. I don't know if that makes any sense. Ultimately, I wouldn't say I totally enjoy this beer, but I'm, I'm not totally opposed to this beer either everything else about this beer other than the hoppy ipa flavor works in my opinion i just i'm i'm not an ipa fan and if it was any other style of beer i think i would give this a really good really good score and i would probably recommend it and probably seek it out however it being the ipa i just i can't i can't fully get behind it in its defense, though, this was slightly enjoyable. I didn't mind it. I just wish they would have took that one extra step, made it a milkshake IPA, sealed the deal, put the nail in the coffin, and marketed it, sold it as is. But I feel like it was missing that that little it factor, and that's ultimately why I'm not absolutely head over heels for it. My drinkability, I could see one only because I, I'm just not an IPA fan. I feel like this is a summer month beer. I couldn't really see drinking something like this in the winter months. It does have a lot of fruits in it. It's got oranges, mango, peach, tropical fruit, citrus. So I see this clearly as a summer month, hot month uh, beer. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give this a 6. I'm, I'm, I'm not, as I've said previously, I'm not a huge IPA guy, but this was, this was nice. I like everything else about it, but the IPA flavor. And I wish they would have just took that little extra step, that little extra momentum to get this into the milkshake IPA category. And I think it would have done it loads, loads better. This is a small company, really small company out of Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. So again, that's Evergreen Brewing Company, Fuzzy Mackerel, 8% alcohol. Thank you.